Hey guys, we're back at it with an update on our deep water culture cilantro grow. And so far, I'm not disappointed, but I'm not overly impressed. We've picked a lot of cilantro from the plants so far. We've used them in enchiladas, deviled eggs, all kinds of stuff. The thing I'm kind of disappointed about, and it's my fault, is I started the seeds in the rock wool cubes. Getting in there and looking, it, it's like the leaves, the new stalks don't have enough room to come out. And I'm thinking that it could be from using the rock wool cubes. So what I'm going to do after filming this video is start some new seeds and harvest as many stalks off of this as I can. With the new seeds, I'm going to germinate the seeds and just start it in the hydrogen. I'm not going to use the rock wool cube. And I'm going to see if that will help the stalks come up better and not seem to get choked out. The nutrients that we're using for this grow is called Age Old Grow and we picked it up for $12.95 at our local hydroponic shop. And part of the goal of growing the cilantro this way was to keep the nutrient cost as low as possible. And seeing we're using reverse osmosis water, supplementing with Botanicare's CalMag, and that's because like we've talked about before, reverse osmosis water doesn't have any calcium or magnesium in it that you would get from your tap water or water outside. The thing that we are having a little bit of a problem with uh, pH wise with this nutrient is it's very hard to maintain a pH of 5.5 to 6.5 which is a range that we like to be in. We've found that we've had to adjust the pH almost every single day. It's not a pain in the butt because you should check it every day anyway but it's just one little thing that you could go a couple days without checking using just the botanic airline. Seeing we're gonna start some new seeds uh, we'll leave half of this with the rock wool cube and we'll start the other half in just the hydrogen. So we'll do another update in a couple weeks. What you're seeing right now is about day 30 to day 35 from the start of the germination of the seeds. So like I said, it's pretty impressive. We've used a ton of it. I'm not complaining too much. I just feel like I could get a lot more out of it than what we have. So as always, like us, subscribe, check out our other videos, and until the next time, we'll talk to you soon.